Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I think I fixed my old mic, so I hope the sound is a little better now. I also have filmed this video already, so um, I filmed the whole first impressions on this range. One of the files was corrupted, so I couldn't edit it all together, and so I'm refilming it, which is... And it sucks also because you won't be able to see my true first impressions, but I'm going to talk you through a product. Reviewing and trying on Ted Baker Beauty. I have been invited to their launch event and so I brought a little goodie bag with some of the things uh, from their new range. I truly was expecting this to be a sort of like cash grab, just like basics and not really thought out, but I was completely wrong. It's really well thought out. The design of the packaging is amazing and so detailed. And there's a lot of products in the range uh, as well as um, a lot of shades of each product, which is really, really cool. And the texture is really sim really good. And this is not sponsored. I mean, this is gifted. The products are gifted, but this is not like an ad. I really was truly impressed with the brand. So if I'm not mistaken, they don't have any base products. The first product I'm going to use is their brow pencil, which I'm now having to sharpen. I don't know how many shades they have. This is the shade chestnut. It's so beautiful. And my brows have nothing at the moment. And as I worn it last time, I do believe that this is like a really nice product that is easy to use. It doesn't, it isn't too waxy and hard and it does sort of dobby. I do think that because it is like a normal pencil, you do have to sharpen it to get like super sharp details. This is more of the type of product to create like a regular even shadow and less the product to create like actual flicks of hair. Because of the color as well, it is super intense uh, on me. I think there might be a lighter shade. I just didn't get it in the goodie bag, so. I'm gonna apply a bit of the Benefit Brow 24 Hour Brow Setter Brow Gel. Just one of my favorite brow gels for like really crisp brows. I do not think they do have a brow gel. I don't remember seeing one, but if they do, I will link it down below just so you can have a look. Let's go into eye products. They have a few different eye products, but I'm gonna use two. First, I'm gonna go into this quad. I'm gonna go into this brownie chocolate matte shade and just create like the crease shade. I don't think, I mean, it is very pigmented. Look at that. Um, it is very, very pigmented, and because there isn't like um, a lighter shade that I can blend this out with, I have to really buff it in. So it's a really nice texture. It's super pigmented. It is super blendable, as you can see. And it's honestly such a nice surprise. I was not expecting this at all because even like high end brands like. Um, I would say like Chanel, Tom Ford and everything like that, which I think this line is very much in line with. They don't tend to have like the most pigmented shadows. They are not like really, they don't cater to that type of audience. I hope you know what I'm saying. Like I'm not dissing on Chanel or anything. I just think their shadows and everything, they're not supposed to be pigmented. They def definitely cater to a different type of audience. And that's why I think I don't have like any I do not have like any Chanel, any Tom Ford, um, any Dior, any Yves Saint Laurent like shadows. I have other products from them sometimes, but definitely not shadows because I feel like they are not my style. I'm gonna buff it in a little bit with a clean brush. I'm gonna go into this little one, just on my finger. It's super creamy. Oh, super uh, pigmented and like dense and I'm just gonna go on top of the center of the lid just these two are like so cute together even on top of that I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this sparkle a uh, liquid eyeshadow it's the shade Ted's Fizz and it is sort of like the Stila magnetic metal shadows but this is a little bit on the sheer side. It's sort of like a topper. It looks really beautiful because it has like a wet effect. Of course, this is wet right now, but it will dry down and still have like a beautiful sparkling wet effect. I like it. Just on the inner corners a little bit, I'm gonna go into this champagne -y color. 
just pop a little brightness there. So it has dried down now, and as you can see, it still looks like a little bit wet, which is really nice. For mascara, they do have mascara, but I don't have it, so um, I can't use it. <laughs> but I am gonna use one of my favorite mascaras at the moment, which is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Uh, volume on demand, that's what it's called. I've done an ad for this on my Instagram, but this is not sponsored. And all those type of like disclaimers and everything will be in the description box as always. And I just think that this is the perfect out of everything. But having a lash lift is like a game changer. I don't think I can go back now. I'm always gonna have a lash lift. I'm doing it at the London Dolls studio in London, of course. Hackney, and it's really nice. I'm gonna link them down below as well. I think I'm taking like a huge detour off the makeup just for this, but it is worth it, I promise. Blush is called Blushing. This is the shade. And I think there were like two or three other shades. Also, my dogs are like play fighting in the background. So if you hear commotion, that's that. And applying. Blend them out or deposit the color depending on how fair you are. But as you can see, they are very pigmented. So I'm using a light hand so I don't go overboard. Dobby! I have two bronzers. One is darker and one is lighter. So this is the lighter one and it's called Sunrise and this is Sunset. I'm gonna give this to my sister because she's a huge Ted Baker fan. I'm gonna go with Sunrise. In the blush, these two sections are matte. This has a tiny bit of shimmer but you can barely see it. In the bronzer, these two are matte and this has shimmer but it's a more noticeable shimmer although I don't think it will be like super noticeable. And I'm gonna apply it like over the, br the blush, but kind of like hugging the blush. And again, it is, you can see the difference. It is pigmented. I am applying with a very light hand, so I don't go overboard. Very pigmented, it's a very nice color. It isn't overly yellow. And I like the idea of this because you can definitely customize it to your skin shade. Like when I'm a little bit more tan, I can just focus on the end of the blush. So the highlighter is probably one of my favorite products of the whole range. I do think they have three shades. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, so there's a press, press highlighter and a loose highlighter, but I'm talking about the pressed one. So this is Heavenly. And it is heavenly. First of all, the texture kind of reminds me of some of the Essa Lauder like uh, limited edition highlighters, but it is more pigmented. It is more buttery than those. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. The detail of the design is so cute, so beautiful. And it is pigmented, but not overly like glittery. It's more like satiny. And again, you can apply this and go really ham if you like a blinding highlight. I don't usually, so I'm trying to like blend it out as much as I can, but it is a beautiful highlight and it doesn't even look, it looks kind of, again, it looks kind of wet, which I really like because that's my jam. For lipsticks, they have launched two uh, ranges of lipsticks. So there's the matte and then there's the the cream. So this is the cream, I think, and this is the matte. And the packaging is just amazing. And all you do is just like this. For the matte, we have a mauve on, which I'm gonna swatch so you can see. And they have like a huge range of colors as well, which I was surprised by. And the cream is spicy. Oh, sorry. I just could not overhype this range enough because it's really amazing. They also have glosses, which I wasn't expecting, but they were really nice. They have a lip liner as well, which I'm gonna use, called Petal Pink. It's not super uh, waxy, but it's also not super glidey. It's kind of in the middle. And then I'm gonna go with gloss, and this is the shade Rhubarb. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it has like very subtle gold lace sparks, but they, you can't even see them. They're just so subtle. It's a sheer gloss, but it does have a bit of tint to it. And I got so many compliments. The last time I filmed this video, the first time I filmed this video, I got so many compliments on this gloss. 
and it's really truly beautiful. It isn't sticky or like tacky. I think you can see from here, it's very um, creamy but like a creamy oil. Just to finish this look, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Glossier Future Dew. So this is what it looks like, by the way, the Future Dew, if you've never seen it. And it basically is pretty sheer and it just gives a little bit of gloss and dew to the face. So you can top it up over any highlighter, really. Or you can even use highlighter on top of this, you know, if you want that blinding effect. I'm gonna link everything that I've used down below. And that's pretty much it for today. I cannot stop staring at my like little preview screen because I look amazing. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the little bell button so you know every single time I upload it. Let me know. Ah, oh, I forgot. Actually, I have one duplicate of this gloss. Same as that shade, uh, shade is rhubarb, and I'm gonna be giving it away. So all you have to do is comment down below what your favorite products from this whole makeup tutorial was, or if there's anything specific from the range that you wanna try, what's your favorite, like what's got you more interested, and I will sort out a winner in a week's time, so a week from the date of when I publish this. It is worldwide and anyone can enter. So let me know what you wanna see from me and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.